92.1 WROI Wednesday morning means time now for a visit with Woodlawn Hospital for their monthly report. We welcome Brad Rogers to the studio. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Glad you could make it in before the uh, the uh, snowmageddon comes. That's what we're hearing. <laughs> I went to two different stores yesterday, and uh, I will say that the Rochester Walmart is doing very well. Yeah. Um, the sales were <laughs> high yesterday. Yeah, I bet so. Today, no, yesterday, and today will probably yes. be. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we are at the end of the month again, end of the year. It's crazy that uh, we're, we're starting to talk about wrapping up 2022 with people. It's went by very quickly. A lot of, lot of things going on in the hospital. Yes, so uh, you had a monthly uh, board report or uh, board meeting. How did that go? Yeah, it went very well. I, first and foremost, I want to uh, welcome uh, Glenn Bodie to the board as one of the new board members. Yeah. Uh, got a chance to meet him yesterday or see him again yesterday. and. And uh, that was great to have that new board member come on, and we look forward to his his uh, uh, work over the next few years. Um, we um, were up again in swing beds. Our numbers are staying where they need to be. Yeah. Um, so that's that's our rehab to home program. So you know, we talk about the word swing bed, and that's kind of a confusing thing for people. <laughs> um, that's really a federal designation, and yeah. the true thing is, is it's our rehab to home program. Yeah. You don't get to swing around on the bed. And no, there are no no, no kid <laughs> swings or anything like that in there. Um, it is it is truly a rehab to home uh, program. Um, so if you have those needs, let us know. But that, that's going well. You know, and that's always a, a neat step too, because obviously you've got yeah. some elderly people, or depending on the the, the person, the, the surgery. Absolutely. Uh, you may need a little extra help getting uh, ready to get back home. Yeah, it's kind of that final tune up to make sure yeah. that you can go home safely. Um, and and be able to stay home safely and not have those returns to the hospital right. because you you got home and went oh I can't I can't do this yes um, so yes please let us know if you have those needs um, and then again our physician office visits were up um, again uh, this time as compared to last year so about five percent up and that's okay. great so we're we're still slowly steadily climbing back up to that kind of pre morbid uh, pre COVID number so to speak so. Thanks to Mother Nature and uh, the, the uh, flu bug and everything else going around. <laughs> well, yeah, the flu bug is uh, it's hitting everybody. Yes. Uh, it's a combination of some COVID, some of the RSV, um, and uh, the influenza A. Um, I, I'm sure everybody, since a couple weeks before Thanksgiving until now, everybody's feeling yeah. it. So, you know, stay safe and, and, and lots of vitamin C and those kinds of things to keep yourself healthy. Exactly. Yeah. What else has happened in Woodlawn Hospital? Well, just a quick update. Our construction project on the north side of the Schaefer building is right on track. Um, and when I say right on track with construction, I mean I've given enough time to make sure that we get done in a <laughs> timely fashion to let us get in there on time. Um, you know, there's always delays right mm -hmm. now with the supply chain, and so, uh, but we're doing well, and that's looking wonderful. I think that. When are we, when are we guessing that uh, you might be able so to make So conservatively, I'm going to say March 1st. Okay. Yeah. Be here so. before you know it? It really will. I mean, January and February are going to fly by. Yeah. Um, so that's going well. We're looking forward to that. Um, general surgeon, um, Dr. Hawk, we kind of talked a little bit about him, alluded to him in the last couple months, but he started last week. Okay. Um, boy, we're happy to have him. Just a super nice guy. If you guys, you, you're going to see him in the community. Uh, he came to the board report, or the board yesterday, and introduced himself. and. Uh, you know, you're going to see him out and about. He likes to be part of the community. Awesome. Um, so, you know, when you see him, he's such a nice gentleman, and uh, we're so happy to have him. So if you need anything from that standpoint, just let us know. Cool. Um, and then the other thing that we did um, here in the last month is <clears throat> cardiology services. There's a pretty high demand for cardiology services within the county and the, and the surrounding areas. And we have consolidated down to a partnership with Ascension Cardiology out of Indianapolis, which it's changed names multiple times. It used to be called the Care Group and then St. Vincent Cardiology, and now it's owned by St. Vincent's. Um, but that group out of Indianapolis. And so um, starting February, they will be our sole provider of cardiology services, okay. and we're going to have them here four days a week. Oh, so awesome. that is wonderful for the community. Consistency in the doctor mm -hmm. and um, a lot more time available to get right. them in. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. So we do currently have some Lutheran doctors coming. Just letting the community know that'll be going away at the end of January, and then February we will have just the St. Vincent or Ascension group out of Indianapolis. Gotcha. Uh, like you said, just just more stable and, and more uh, often and able to be more time available. Well, four days a week consistently with yeah. one group. It allows a lot of things for the, both the patient and the hospital. Um, 
and that consistency is just wonderful for patients. That's what they're looking for. Plan ahead that way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Um, and then really, like you said, the only other thing that we want to talk about is the weather. So yeah. we want people to be safe and be smart over the next few days. Yeah. Um, don't want to make any more hospital visits than you have to. We don't. We don't. We're here if you need us, but, boy, we, we really don't want anybody over the holidays to have anything like that happen. You know, Brett, we talk about that, you know, that, but it really is, uh, especially the, the elder community uh, with the snow and stuff coming, be, be aware uh, of, yeah. of shoveling snow. That probably is one of maybe the most uh, sticky points of uh, with the snow coming is getting out in the cold. It's not yeah, it's, it's a risk not only for the musculoskeletal system, but for your cardiac system. Yeah. You know, cold air, um, it's, a, uh, it's a type of lifting activity that really taxes the heart. Yeah. Um, so, yes, definitely be careful and kind of have some plans for that. You brought a guest in with you I today. did. That, that's kind of the last thing on my agenda for today is uh, I brought Melinda Rogers. Melinda is the director of our sleep center and respiratory therapy department. Okay. So um, she's got some changes coming up, and we just wanted to go over those with you guys and let you know what's going on in the world. Well, welcome, Melinda. Glad you could join us. Thank you. Glad uh, to be here. <laughs> all right. Some changes coming. So uh, that's always good to uh, let people know about. Yes. Um, as of December 20th, so uh, our pulmonologist is no longer on staff with us. Um, but we just wanted to let everybody know that the sleep lab and PFTs, which the doctor had read, are we're going to remain doing those. And we actually have Ascension uh, Medical Group doing our PFTs. So they'll be reading our group. Our, PFTs, there's a group of pulmonologists that will be going through those and reading those. So we'll keep that services up and we're looking forward to some options in the future of maybe having someone come in. And then um, for sleep, we have a group um, called Allied Physicians out of Fort Wayne and they'll be reading our sleep studies. And so we're really looking forward to yep. just some more opportunities coming about. You know, uh, sleep studies uh, have really grown over the last few years, uh, uh, and unfortunately, I was one of those uh, victims that uh, got to uh, have a sleep study, and uh, it finds out, you know, I, I sleep much better now. <laughs> and, you know, those are things that maybe people don't think about when they're, they're having problems sleeping. Yeah, it, it is a blessing because you're definitely not a victim. You're, <laughs> and we, we love seeing that change in people of just, you know, being so tired and exhausted to being able to help them out. So it's really a blessing to be on that end of it and just to be able to see that change yeah. in them. And, you know, the, there's a diff all sorts of different kinds of tests that, that get run on that as well. Yeah, they can come in and there's just a baseline test and then we have a treatment test um, where we can put them on CPAP or BiPAP and that's kind of the treatment for sleep apnea. And then we also do some day testing to check and see if they have narcolepsy and then we have some home sleep testing where they can take it home. And so there's quite a bit of different yeah. testing. So uh, obviously uh, those, those testing, I mean, it, you've probably seen a, a big spike in, in the number of those. Uh, per, provided by the, or prescribed by the doctors for those tests? Yes, we really have. I've been doing this for almost 30 years now. And so <laughs> since I started doing sleep, we've really seen that people are just more aware of it. And so we have a lot more people coming in and just getting tested to rule it out. And a lot of times, you know, they're having issues already. So the doctors are sending to them to us with issues. So we're, we really like being able to just help people out. Yeah, that's a great thing. What else you got, Brad? Uh, you know, Absolutely, uh, nothing but the best wishes for everybody yeah. coming up on the holiday season. Um, you know, I, I do want to point out, you know, one of the nice things about what Melinda's been able to do in the last month, getting all these things coordinated, is it'll help things be less um, cumbersome to patients, more of a seamless transition, um, and we'll have resources, um, you know, of a larger group that can help take care of those reads and things like that. So we're looking forward to that. Anytime you can make it uh, easier for the patient, they, they love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's our goal. That's our goal every time. Yes, so, yes. Um, no, other than that, we wish you guys a, a Merry Christmas and Happy New yeah. Year. And we look forward to all the changes we're going to continue to make here next year. Yeah. Keep us updated on those and uh, if anything else changes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas to you guys and have a good New Year. We'll talk to you in 2023. Sounds good. All right.